It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday Night Special, where we talk about everything rock hounding related. So, uh, this past week had the Spokane Rock Rollers Tailgate Swap and Sale event. And man, that was awesome. It was so great. Um, so I managed to offload a lot of my rocks in my rock trade and got a whole bunch of cool rocks. Even bought a couple of slabs. Uh, if you watched that video, you know, you saw it. <laughs> it was a long video, right? It was a long video, but I think it's pretty good. You know, uh, <clears throat> it really, I think, does a good job of kind of showcasing some of the more community aspects of this whole rock hounding thing. And uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, but let's, let's just, I got a lot of rocks to show you. So we gotta go, we gotta go quick on this one. So if you go back uh, a little bit, a um, couple weeks or so, Wade, Quartz Cowboy, he sent some rocks. And uh, one of the rocks that he sent, right, was this. This is a nice big chunky sea maggot. And well, uh, I polished it up all, all around and I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's it's a fun one. I was very tempted to grind the the rind, like the pff, the rind, the the basalt that's still attached to this. But I think I kind of want to put it up here on the shelf back here, and uh, I'll have it be just like that. And by the way, okay, so here's the thing: when I shoot these Saturday night special videos, I do it all in one take. Uh, you know, maybe a little editing here or there if some, you know, buddy drives by with a loud vehicle. Uh, and, you know, but let's, let's, let me show you what I've been working on. So normally, you see this. So this is the shelf of rocks, right? And this is the stuff that you guys have sent in to the channel here. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful stuff. I mean, it's just amazing. Well, I have felt really bad because I have not been able to put everything on this shelf that you guys have sent. So, <laughs> we now have this one. Boom, the giant shelf, the giant shelf of rocks. And it's starting to get loaded up with, uh, well, with all the goodies, right? That's uh, beautiful stuff, you know? Uh, I, I, I appreciate all of you. Um, so I might put a riser in the back of these because it is kind of big, but some of the bigger specimens are going to go on here and get worked with time and all of that. So I've been, I did that this week as well, which is awesome. It's always good to knock out a project, you know, it makes me feel productive. Now I couldn't possibly show you all of the rocks that I got at the trade, but let's, uh, let's look at a couple of them. So, uh, I got this. Now this is agate from the polka dot mine okay in in oregon now i've never been there uh they have a thunder egg dig now going as well but this stuff is beautiful now normally you don't at least me i don't normally see this kind of like very stark white agate so you know uh i think this is going to be really beautiful uh i got this in a trade and what i'm thinking i'm gonna do here is Probably just polish this one up as a uh, a specimen, and then this bigger piece that I got in the trade, I'm going to uh, slab this or get some good slabs out of it for uh, making some cabs. You can kind of see the similarities there. I mean, very cool material. I've wanted to, I've wanted to go down there for a while, but sometimes it just it doesn't doesn't happen, you know. Now, I got something, uh, well, a couple of other things here that I wanted to show you. So, uh, Curtis hooked me up with this. Now, this is Opal from the Virgin Valley. Look at that reaction. This stuff is so good. Let's look at this here. Look at that. That green, I mean, it's uh, almost looks like plastic. You know, it's just very, uh, very unreal looking, which is, it's very cool to have. Uh, I, I love a, uh, well, UV reactive rocks and minerals. Are, are, they're very up there for me. I have a cool display 
going in the house and you know in the future I'm gonna well share that with y'all my friend Isaiah he sent some rocks and uh, well let's just lo look at some of these this beautiful oh man they're here the polish job on that is just spectacular. This is some Jasper. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. He sent some material from Hampton Butte to kind of show me what, um, well, how cool the Hampton Butte material could be. Look at that. Petrified wood. It's like green petrified wood, agatized wood. Very lovely stuff, along with some of the actual, actual green. Get my grubby mitts all over it. But very cool material. Uh, he sent some interesting minerals that I have yet to take uh, take them under the microscope. Um, I mean, I wish I could uh, express the weight of this, but what we have here is Galena and Pyrite. Um, maybe in the coming week, I will have some time at the microscope and we can take some photos. He also sent this. Now, this is a pretty cool piece of basalt. Um, this was a projectile. So this cooled in the air, which is, I don't know if this qualifies as a lava bomb. Maybe it does, but it's very, very awesome to see this. So this either was uh, probably from a a splatter cone so you know we have all these volcanic dikes so yeah air cooled yeah um yes very cool I, I like this you know me i love a good piece of basalt and now i have plenty of room on the shelf for that um he also sent something for me to identify okay um and for those of you that are uh, good at maybe uh reading uh backwards <laughs> <laughs> you could already already tell here um, but this is it and uh, I will take a piece of this stuff and put it under the microscope and roll that in here so you can see it well uh, now I've already gone through the effort of while well, doing the identification and uh, to do that use the good book here minerals of the world um, and this kind of probably is a nice segue into the, the meat and potatoes of tonight. What we have here is we have some tremolite. Um, now, uh, we're looking at this bottom picture here, not the ampelite, um, but the, the tremolite. This is, that is, one of like the six types of recognized asbestos, and uh, that's what this is. So, um, I do kind of want to take a minute and talk about the whole, uh, you know, don't lick rocks thing, the, the you know, the coffee mugs and the, and the stickers, right? Like, it's meant to kind of be an all, all in good humor, you know? I mean, of course, uh, some people, uh, they, they get triggered by it, but, uh, you know, um, this right here, um, along with some of the other toxic rocks and minerals that I have and that have been sent to me and I've self-collected, um, they're very interesting. They can certainly be handled in a very nice, easy, safe way. Uh, you can have them in your collection. All of those things. Um, you do want to be a little cautious with this stuff. Uh, this material that he sent is kind of on the crumbly side, if I'm being totally honest. I mean, it's, uh, you know, one of, the, <clears throat> one of the reasons why my shop is so clean all the time is things like this okay this is what I don't want around here you know and it can be hard for people that have a well don't have the storage don't have the space have kids things like that so I've kind of be became this default home but uh it's neither here nor there anyways um you find stuff like this, right? You put it in your backpack. You then put other things in your pack. You have your light and all of this, and you get that kind of cross-contamination. Um, let me grab stuff here. Let's 
So when you have stuff that needs proper storage and handling, well, you got to have proper storage and handling. <clears throat> and a lot of people don't because they don't even know what they have. Um, and it can be very confusing with this type of stuff, right? I mean, we look at that and we look at, we look at this. Let's grab this. What do you think? If you want to focus, focus. What do you think here? This is a zeolite. It's in the zeolite group. Totally fine to have and to store. And I'll throw uh, some good photos in of it. Cool material. And this, very similar. A lot of people would probably put both in their backpack if they're picking it up and not think uh, twice. But here you can even see you got a little bit of that on my finger. So um, storage is a big deal. And how do you know what you need to properly store? This, things like this. Understanding rock and mineral identification, although it's kind of its own separate hobby, right? Like it's re rock and mineral identification. It's like a, an adjacent topic, an adjacent hobby. Just like there's rock hounding, there's geology, there's lapidary, there's rock and mineral identification. They all have some overlap, but they really are their own thing, you know? Um, and that's, that's that. There's a lot of benefit and value in understanding what something is, you know? I mean, I think it's all fun to be like, pick up the things that you think are pretty, but, or interesting, pick up the things that you think are interesting, but sometimes the interesting things are asbestos or mercury or radioactive. And it's good to just kind of know, know when to, uh, be able to identify those yellows and reds and fibrous things, you know, that's a, it's a good skill. Um, and I'm certainly going to be, um, doing some more talking on that. And in fact, I'm planning on teaching a couple of classes this, uh, this winter on that very subject, which would be a lot of fun. And I'm sure I'll be able to post those here as well. Also, uh, at the trade, I got a piece of tholite. Now, I already cut the, the host rock off of it, so it's mostly in the pink. But I'm very looking forward to uh, working with this. That'll be a lot of fun. And, and yeah, I think that, that we're, we're getting close to wrapping that up here, the Saturday night special. Um, next week, okay, next week will be good. Uh, we are picking up <laughs> some fun stuff next week. Fun stuff. Fun stuff will be found. Check that out. A little pocket in there. But, um, yeah, you know, uh, if you're at all concerned about a rock or mineral being toxic in any way, Stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. I'm going to be putting up a class. It'll probably be a long one because uh, I'm planning on doing two classes this winter um, at my rock club. One's going to be on finding your own rock counting locations. The other one's going to be on rock and mineral identification. So, And I'll post those up here as well. And you don't want to miss that. You don't want to miss it. Well... Thank you all very much. Appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. Maybe you can get out, do a little bit of rock hounding. Weather's finally starting to cool down out here, which has me loving it. Ooh, ooh, real quick. Um, I'm not even, I didn't even show you one of the cooler finds. Not cooler finds. Cooler things that was given to me at, at, the, at the, the show. Check that out. Look at that. I have my very own hat. How awesome is that? Love it. I'll have to figure out something else for winter. Keep my nice bald head warm. But uh, in the meantime, I'll be rocking this thing. Uh, I, got a I got a bunch of them. It's uh, very happy. Very happy. Always a good time with the community. All right, everybody. Y'all have a good night. 
Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.